All right, y'all, we are back with another video and say it ain't so. Even before we get to the video, shout out to Doug for always keeping us up to date with everything that's going on. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go show Doug some love. And he said in this one that uh, Christy Noem will help Donald Trump win in 2024. Not even the press is making her case. Wow. Even in my last video, I seen a lot of y'all saying like, hey, hey, dog, I wouldn't mind if Trump uh, picked Christy uh, known because y'all know before I've said that I, I wanted him to you know to get Tucker Carlson for vice president. And then I actually throw uh, uh, Vivek up in there. I threw Kerry Lake in there. We got Marjorie Taylor Greene. But a lot of people have been saying Christy known. I've been hearing that a lot. And then I'm hearing that uh, Tucker Carlson bagged out or he might not do it i don't know how true that is because like i said my picks stand as me wanting tucker carson as donald trump's vp that's what i want now like i said i heard something about that he bagged out or he's not going to do it like i said before i don't know how true that is but we shall see make sure y'all hit that like button subscribe to the channel shout out to everybody showing so much support everybody been leaving uh positive comments in the comment section i also want to thank everybody that clicked on this video for the very first time and shout out to the one that always stayed to the end because when you do that youtube will share the video so more people can see my reaction and that right there is where it helped the channel grow and please hit that like button and y'all let me know in the comment section who do y'all want donald trump to pick because obviously nikki haley has been lying she be like she keep flip-flopping one minute she don't like donald trump the next minute she trying to talk like she like him and stuff she's trying to use donald trump to try to raise up her stocks you know what i'm saying that, that's what she's trying to do she is such a flip-flopper man you cannot trust nikki haley at all not at all we cannot trust her at all i don't trust anything that that woman says so that's further ado y'all let's go ahead and dive straight into this and let's see what doug had to say about all this y'all let's go well, as speculation grows over who Trump will pick for his running mate, I believe it's going to be Christy Nome. Mm. She's the only person left in the news, mm. even though someone hasn't gotten that message to Nikki Haley yet. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenaple. This is where the happy patriots are. We're going to win. This is going to be about Trump's running mate. Mm. So check the news headlines, okay? This is wishful thinking from the Hill. Haley doesn't rule out considering Ron DeSantis for being her running mate. Uh, who's going to tell her? Oh, <laughs> running mate. ridiculous. The Hill thinks she could be president. Here's NBC News. Nikki Haley says she would maybe consider Ron DeSantis as her running mate. Running yeah. mate for what? And I might consider Fred Flintstone for my running mate <laughs> for president. Former UN ambassador Nikki Haley said she would maybe consider Governor Ron DeSantis as a running mate saying, if he wants to join forces with me, I'll welcome that. In a joint interview with NBC News at the Des Moines Register. What a waste. What a dumb, foolish, funny, clownish waste. Making both these people, Haley and Ron DeSantis, look like complete clowns. Yep. Quote, I'm going to defeat Donald Trump on my own. Oh, God. That's the goal that we have. If he wants to join forces with me, I welcome that. Haley said when asked about the prospect of joining forces with DeSantis to beat Trump. But right now we've got that race. We feel good about, we've got a surge. We've got momentum. She said, uh, asked if she was joining for forces with Haley. He answered for a what he also Ron DeSantis called Haley a phony and a wow. darling of the never Trumpers intensifying his attacks on her as they fight for position in the race. I got bad news for both of you. Here's a first look at Christy Nome in an interview. Some of you haven't seen a clip of her yet. This is a brand new clip of her. What are the qualities the former president should look for in a vice presidential pick? Oh gosh, somebody who tells him the truth. Honestly, my the people that are my closest advisors are on my executive team and they tell me stuff I don't wanna hear sometimes. You know, they, they, I need to be teachable. As a leader, you need to learn and listen to your advisors and then make a decision, yeah. and then you take action on it. And that's, President Trump will make decisions, he'll take action. He needs people around him that are advising him that will tell him the truth and have America's best interest in mind. Do you have those qualities? Do you match that? Oh, yeah, but I can think of a lot of people that have those qualities. But, yeah, I've been very honest with the president 
um, ever since I've known him. We have a great relationship. And so while Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley are telling you what their great, amazing credentials are, and they're being really arrogant, Christy Nome sounded kind of differential going mm -hmm. like, oh, someone should tell him the truth you right. know, if it was someone like me. Quote, I've known the man for years now, she said on stage, worked with him when he was in the White House on tax cuts, worked with him on policies and trade agreements. I served on the Armed Services Committee, worked on foreign policy with him. He helped me build my economy in South Dakota. So that is also campaigning wow. for Trump. And Trump likes hearing those words. Yes. Taking aim at Nikki Haley, who served as South Carolina governor and then U.S. ambassador to the U.N. in the Trump administration, Noam told an audience, she, quote, she said that she was never going to run for president against President Trump. And now she's running for president exactly. against President Trump. The roughly 30-minute speech in Iowa came a day after Christy Nome was asked on air by Newsmax host Eric Bowling if she picked Nikki Haley, what would that be a mistake if Trump picked Nikki Haley as VP? Yes, she said, but if he picked her, I would tell him I disagreed with him, but then I would support the ticket because he's the president and the president still makes the decisions and you know, I just, I've heard, had a lot of disagreements with Nikki Haley over the years. And I just don't know which Nikki Haley is going to show up every day. She's a different person depending on whatever works for her political yep, agenda. Exactly right. Stern warning. Here's Yahoo News with Steve Bannon says a second Trump administration would fail if Nikki Haley is tapped to be the ex-president's running mate. And Steve Bannon's one of the guys that's closest to Trump. So I believe he's telegraphing to us. Nikki Haley is out. They'll say Trump needs a woman, and he does. Nikki on the ticket, she balances things is what the never Trumpers would say. And she can bring together that 15% of never Trumpers, the Republican party. Now, another thing is that you just heard Kristen Noem say, she said that Nikki Haley said that she had never run against Donald Trump. And now she's running against Donald Trump. This is what I'm talking about. Nikki Haley don't do nothing but just double talk. She's a hypocrite. This woman literally just said that she would never, if y'all ain't watched it, make sure y'all check out my video from yesterday where we showed the clips of Nikki Haley like one minute she for Trump, the next minute she against him. She's talking noise about him. He ain't this. He ain't that. And then another video, she'd be like, uh, I like President Trump. I believe he's doing right. Like, that's what she does. Whatever works for her own political agenda, that's what she does. Anything it takes to help her raise up her poll numbers, she's going to do it. This woman is a liar. There is no way Donald Trump would be considering choosing Nikki Haley as a vice president. That right there would not happen. Donald Trump has way better other opportunities. Like I said, we got Christian Nome he can go out there. He got Christian Nome. You got Vivek, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Carrie Lake. You got a lot of them. And, and I just don't see Trump putting all them to a side to pick Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley, uh, there's no way. There's no way Donald Trump is going to do that. This is, <laughs> you cannot trust this woman at all. She really like another Mike Pence, basically. Laugh in your face and talk behind your back. We're going to have to fight that fight if Nikki Haley is in this administration in any capacity. It'll fail. She's a viper. She's a viper. And once she gets in there, she'll try to run it as prime minister. She'll try to be Dick Cheney. Her to Trump will be just like Dick Cheney to Bush. That's what she'll try to do. Nome, Christy Nome, has asked if she was on the ground in Sioux City to audition for Trump's vice presidential spot, and she denied that, was the case saying, I'm here to help the president win. That is what Trump's vice president will sound like. Yeah. Here's a final headline. Christy Nome says Trump needs someone like her as VP. I think that she'd be a great pick. Yeah, I she, do too. All the press. She's the only one that they're seriously considering as VP. Mm -hmm. The other ones are, of course, paid clownish endorsements by Nikki Haley's billionaire never Trumper money, and we're not buying it. But what do you guys think? Is it all set? Because I don't hear anything about Carrie Lake anymore. I hear a little glimpse of Marjorie Taylor Greene, but not seriously. Okay. He needs a woman. It's not going to be Nikki Haley. No. Who else besides 
Christy Nome. I'm Doug. And that's the thing right there. Like I said, if he's going to choose like a woman, I think uh, I keep forgetting. What about Candace Owens? I mean, you got Candace Owens. I wouldn't mind seeing Donald Trump as the president and Candace Owens as his vice president. So we have to see like what's going on here. Cause like I said, I'm uh, every time I turn around, I'm hearing Tucker Carlson bagged out. He's not going to do it. He's focused on what he's focusing on. So like I said, we don't know how true it is. You know, we don't know how true it is, but hopefully it is Tucker Carlson. But like I said, I would take Candace Owens in a heartbeat as vice president. Like he said, you ain't really hearing from uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Carrie Lake. Maybe they focus on other things. But like I said before, there's no way this man is picking some Nikki Haley. Like I said, she's just another Mike Pence. They talk. I, I mean, those clips was just disturbing that I seen of Nikki Haley, how she was just talking so bad about Donald Trump. And then she'll talk so good about him. It's like she just kept flip flopping. I'm like, what, what is she doing? Is she trying to gain something? What is she doing? So I guess when it's time to raise your poll numbers you want to talk like you for trump like you respect what he's doing you like what he's doing but the whole time you just hating you don't really like him you just want to use his name to make your numbers climb it seems like this what she's doing but man like i said this right here is just uh crazy we shall see man like i said hopefully uh tucker carson would do it but y'all heard my other options if uh tucker carson don't do it Y'all can let me know in the comment section who would y'all consider. Would y'all do y'all think he should pick Christy? No, she seems like she's a good person for it. Cause like she seems like she's very, very serious about what she say. And she straight blasted Nikki Haley. Blasted her. But like I said, thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I catch y'all in the next one.